and welcome back to my youtube channel so as you can probably tell i just woke up i'm still in my pajamas and i'm going to make some breakfast so the full lockdown of three weeks is finally over so i'm really happy about that and um, yes, I'm taking you guys along today. First of all, I'm going to make some breakfast. I'm really craving some banana pancakes and I think I'm going to make those. And if you are new here on my channel, I'm a Dutch girl and I'm living in Marmaris, Turkey. And I make lots of beauty related videos, lifestyle vlogs. So if you like that, make sure you subscribe. Now let's make some breakfast. right after my breakfast or even before I do a washing load in so I'm using these two together right now and as you can see it's almost finished but I have to say I really like it it's really like soft and fresh and before these two I bought the bingo one and I absolutely love that scent as well but yes this one is also very nice for anyone that lives in Turkey and is interested in this I'm going to apply a little bit of makeup but nothing too crazy because I can already feel that it's going to be a very hot day it is already like 10 o'clock in the morning and it's boiling so i'm not gonna apply too much and like i said in the beginning of the video and um, we're finally out of lockdown but not everything is back to normal yet so all of these shops are open again and only the restaurants and the hotels are open so not the regular restaurants but i guess they will open also soon because there are already a lot of tourists here in marmaris and yesterday we finally went out of the house for the first time and it was so lovely and i also filmed a little bit yesterday so i will put them in right now so it was really nice uh, to get finally out and today is a really exciting day at least for me because um, it's the first semi-final of the Eurovision Song Contest and I don't know if I ever mentioned it on here but I'm a huge Eurovision fan and in 2019 so two years ago uh, the Netherlands won after a very long time with Duncan Lauren Arcade and it's such a beautiful song and when I heard it also for the first time I was like yes we're going to win like this is amazing and then last year obviously due to the coronavirus um, it was cancelled and this year they made it like corona proof and this year it is held in Rotterdam Rotterdam in the Netherlands and yeah, I'm so excited to see everyone um, performing so usually I watch all of the uh, contestants before like I follow everything but I thought this year no I'm not going to do that I'm just uh, gonna let it be like a surprise so I haven't watched anything yet except for the Netherlands um, I watched that one but the other contestants, yeah, I didn't watch anything yet. So I'm so excited to see everything. The song from the Netherlands this year, a lot of people say it's very bad. But I think it's very artistic. And um, yes, I do really like it. Yeah, I don't think it will end up really high. But I do think it's like a quality song. And he's such like an artist, jean Gou McCoy. So I'm really looking forward to see like his performance as well. But he will be up Saturday in the final because um, the Netherlands won. So they are like automatically in the final of the Eurovision. So yeah, really looking forward to that. But like I said, today is the first semi-final. And then Thursday is the second semi-final. 
so yeah let me know if you are going to watch it and if you like eurovision so let me know in the comments down below and what is also very exciting is that disneyland paris is going to reopen and i'm so happy for all of the staff and everyone who works there uh, really amazing news although i don't think we will be going soon i mean um if you fly now from turkey to the netherlands like you need to do like a, a pcr test is that how you call it like you need a negative test and it's just also a lot of extra money so i'm also not really sure if a lot of tourists will come again this year because of that so this is my makeup for today and i'm not going to do too much anyway and like i said it's going to be very hot so yeah very minimal and i will show you guys now the kittens they are so adorable they grow up so fast and the only thing is that their eyes are really irritated and i clean them every day but i don't know what's wrong with it but uh, some of them are clearing up a bit better now but yeah it's really sad that their eyes are like that irritated and i also want to warn you guys oh yesterday i went in the sun just for like 10 minutes and as you can see i burned so bad <laughs> oh my gosh so yeah if you're in turkey be careful um 10 minutes is enough to burn your skin quite bad so yeah don't go in the sun unprotected as you can see oh my gosh yeah that's pretty bad but yeah i will show you guys the kittens now so here's one mama <laughs> and here's the other mama <sighs> And the other three are laying here in the garden and I can't come near them but they are also sleeping so I would let them peacefully sleep. Hi hi. Hey Kitsan. Hi Kitsan. One is waking up now. Okay so here in the kitchen we have like a really empty wall and I do want like a clock here and I'm just looking uh, on Trendio and I will show you it quickly so I do really love this one let me know what you think or or this one let me know which one do you prefer so here in our kitchen so I'm going to give the bathroom a quick clean and I'm using this product from Axbril it's from the Beam supermarket and I quite like it the only thing I struggle with is the shower especially the glass i can't clean it really well so if you have any tips how to clean like the glass in the shower please let me know in the comments down below and i also bought these new how do you call them toilet tablets <laughs> i don't know but i'm also going to change them inside because the other ones they run out so i bought this yesterday at beam so for lunch i'm having this muesli with all little chocolate pieces i love it <laughs> and then i also have these these called erik in turkish and this is basically like a plum but really sour so i really love this i love like sour fruit so i'm having this for lunch today so I'm now going to clean my Pandora bracelet and I thought I'd share with you how I do that. Um, so I have a cloth and this is from the Netherlands actually, but this is just like a silver polished cloth. And as you can see of the black stains in it, um, it does remove a lot of like dirt. And as you can see over time, like it just becomes a little bit black everywhere, especially the ones that I have for a while. And also the ring as well so yeah i always use like a silver cloth and i also saw people using like lots of different products and correct me if i'm wrong but pandora they recommend just using like a cloth or like toothpaste and a really soft toothbrush like a really soft one otherwise you will damage like the silver but i find that this works really well and then when i'm in the netherlands i usually go to pandora itself and they can also clean it for you over there which is really nice so i just thought i shared it with you <laughs> As you can see if you rub it over you can see like the dirt coming off and 
you see it becomes like more shiny. So look at the difference already. You can definitely see that it's a lot more clean. So for dinner tonight I'm going to have these roasted potatoes and also some chicken. This is from yesterday but I still have some left so I'm going to enjoy this. And I think also I will make like a salad to go with it. So yeah, this is my evening dinner for tonight. So I'm now watching something about uh, Jean Gu, the singer that uh, represented the Netherlands this year in the Eurovision. And it's almost 10 o'clock uh, still, 20 minutes to go and then I will go to the YouTube channel from Eurovision and start watching the semi-final one. And I'm so curious to see it and I'm really excited for it. And this is actually on the Dutch television. So if you are Dutch, you can watch this back on uh, MPO1, I believe. So for the people who also want to watch it, um, there's still the second semi-final and also the final. And you can watch it on a live stream on the YouTube channel from Eurovision. So yeah, if you haven't watched it yet, um, you can also watch it back on here. Thank you. 